A mostly similar adaptation of the Go Kyger episode, The Most Important Thing. Lindsay turns into Lightspeed Rescue, Turbo, Overdrive, and we switch out Sun Vulcan for Wild Force. And instead of the rest of the team turning into Trump Card, they turn into American Exclusive Rangers, Titanium Ranger, and the Spirit Masters. And in this episode, we learn about Lindsay's backstory. She was a human from Terra Venture during Lost Galaxy. And after that, she lived on Miranoi. She didn't really realize the Zongyak occupation of Miranoi. She spent most of her time taking care of homeless orphans. Her major goal is to get enough money to buy them all homes. But there was an event known as the Punishment of Miranoi. Because Miranoid attempted to leave the Zangak Empire, the Zangak decided to sack the planet to show they do not tolerate rebellion. A group known as the Zangak Special Sword Squad came across Lindsay and the orphans, and it turns out Joe was a former member of them. And he was told to cut down the orphans and Lindsay by one of his superiors, Snootus which is an unused costume from Go Onger. Joe refused to do it because of the children. From there, he deserted the Zangag and helped Lindsay and the orphans escape, finding Marvelous and eventually the rest of the crew. And then at the end, because it's a Lindsay episode, they all decide to finish the monster with Forever Yellow formation. Joe turns into Ninja Storm, Donnie turns into Mystic Yellow, Bailey becomes in space yellow. Lindsay becomes mighty Morphin yellow because she's the original yellow. And Marvelous is about to turn into Lost Galaxy yellow until he looks at the key. He hears a little kid's voice in his head saying, Come on, Burden. If any one of us could wield a quasar saber, it would be you. We cut inside Marvelous's helmet and he starts tearing up. So he replaces the Lost Galaxy yellow key with Aquatar Ninja Ranger key. So all the guys are the male yellow rangers. An adaptation of Little Spy Tactics, the Go Kydra episode. And we open with the legendary Megazorg blowing up a monster, as well as the Gosei Great Catapult Megazorg blowing up another monster. The Astro Megazord blowing up a monster in space. And the Samurai Gigazord and the Thundersaurus Megazord to show that other places in the world are getting invaded. Damara sends the spy and we officially learn that the pirates are looking for the greatest treasure in the universe to try and stop the Zangak. And learn that the pirates are essentially doing a colossal U-turn to get back to Angel Grove to get the Megaforce keys back. And they're doing a U-turn in case they find the greatest treasure in the universe before they get the keys. And have a scene where Donnie is complaining that no one remembers all the keys for all the rangers. And Lindsay's like, yeah, huh, I remember. And then Donnie pulls out the Die Ranger key, and he asks, okay, who's this? And Lindsay's like, uh, Mighty Morphin? And Donnie's like, Ron, Thunder Squadron. He asks Bailey with a ninja key, and she replies, Mighty Morphin? And he's like, Ron. Then Donnie asks Joe with the yellow Jetman key, and he's like, Turbo? No, in space, in space. And Donnie, just angry, frustrated, is like, they're not even from the same universe, it's Justice Wing. 
ah, and he like bites the yellow Justice Wing key and Marvelous shows up. He's like, hey, don't bite the Justice Wing key. It's important. And Donnie's like, thank you. And then later we switch Digiman for Mighty Morphin. And then swap GoGo5 with In Space. And no need to change Wild Force. Navi gives prediction. He hits his head. Jungle Spirit. Pizza unleashed. So the pirates take this as go check the zoo. And we get some animal facts. And we see some guy in a tiger cage cleaning the cage as the tiger doesn't bother him. And it turns out that he's part of the Order of the Claw. And then back with the villains, we meet Puncha Chamak the 13th, who joins them and is the monster of the episode. And then he invades, and the pirates show up to fight him. And then he uses his magnet powers to steal their shit. And they turn into Wild Force. But Donnie and Bailey aren't as great with hand-to-hand -hand combat and get their asses kicked. And later, Donnie and Bailey go to Tiger King and ask KC, Hey, can you help us train? And he's like, sure. And then they unlock their spirit animals. Bailey, the peacock, and Donnie, the marsupial. But those suits don't exist, so at the end, they all just turn into Jungle Fury and beat them at the end. And after all that, they're looking for KC, but they can't find him. And then suddenly, a pizza delivery guy shows up for a pizza for Donnie and Bailey. And it turns out that the pizza guy is Theo. Navi prediction. Turtle in the sky with lion. Donnie tells them about the flying island that's the shape of a turtle called Animarium. And so they're off to find the island, and we have some shots of them looking for it, until they actually do find it. Yay! But shit, the Zangak found us! Everyone gets off their ships and fight, because this monster in the Sentai is called Bowser. Might as well call him Koopa in this. And then the pirates turn to Wild Force. And then the Red Lion shows up and he recognizes them as the Wild Force Rangers, but then realizes they're not the real ones and swats them and the Zanyak off Animarius. And the Rangers comically fall into garbage, but in their pirate uniforms, not the Megaforce forms. Right into the garbage of a veterinarian named Cole. In some nerdy moments with Donnie recognizing him, Cole explains to them that he knows who they are because of the news. And he tells them it's up to the Red Lion if he t determines that they are worthy of his powers, not him. And then Joe, Marvelous, and Lindsay save a group of civilians. And Donnie prevents Koopa from stepping on a flower. Which is enough to convince the Red Lion to come down from Animarius to help. And they form the legendary Wild Force Megazord as Wild Force's theme plays in the background because anniversary, they defeat Koopa. And they say farewell for further adventures. And then we cut to the Mega Team and they decide to put Roy and Dadas in charge of defending Angel Grove as they take the Go Say Great Megazord. To go get the Ranger keys back, or at least the Robo Knight key back, so that they could recharge him. Vakar is bitching about the pirates and all the Rangers, and then suddenly a purple Zanga cruiser docks with the flagship, and then all of a sudden a blue swordsman bursts on the scene, and it turns out to be Malakor, Vakar's uncle. And member of the Zangak Special Sword Squad. And then a bunch of the other Sword Squad members show up. Including Snootus, their new commander. And he reports that Vrakar's father, the Emperor, sent them. And Vrakar is like, Haha! I will finally destroy the Rangers with the power of the greatest swordsman in the universe! 
And Snootus looks at Argus and he's like, Good to see you again, which will be important later. So Malcor, Vakar, and Argus beam down because Vakar is very pretty cocky. He's actually shown up to this invasion. And Vakar is all like, Citizens of Earth, I am Crown Prince Vakar. Crown Prince of the Mighty Zangyak Empire. Grand Admiral of the Mighty Zangyak Navy. Surrender or be destroyed. But then the pirates show up and there's some fighting. Everyone but Marvelous turns into Lost Galaxy as he turns into Wild Force. And Joe goes to attack Argus. And then just everyone turns into Mighty Morphin. Argus does Solar Slash, which is a very familiar move to Joe. Marvelous saves Joe by shooting at Argus and Vakar. Argus loses his sword. Vakar bleeds blue, which implies he has copper blaze blood, and it's also a joke at the fact that he's blue blood. They retreat. After the fight, the pirates are talking, and Joe is like, it can't be. The only person who knew that move besides me was... Oh no. Joe leaves. Vakar's complaining about how much he hurts. Lavira tells him it was only one wound. And Vakar's like, shut up, it hurts still. Uncle, attack the rangers. Argus, where do you think you're going? Argus goes to get his sword as Joe's standing there next to it. Joe recognizes that Argus used to be his commander and father figure, Sugra, who was the commander of the special sword squad before Snootus. Joe was a human from Terror Venture, raised on Miranoi. During the Zangyak occupation, when he grew up, he joined the special sword squad. Sugra basically became a father figure to Joe, teaching him everything he knows, including the Solar Slash, which is a unique move only he and Joe knew. During the punishment of Miranoi when Joe defected, Sugra actually helped Joe in escaping, but he got swarmed by Exborgs. But the Zangak realized that he was too much of a valuable person to keep dead, so they turned him into the cyborg Argus. And yes, Sugra is Argus spelled backwards. I'm creative. And unfortunately for Joe, the Zangak wiped Sugra's memory. Except for his combat skills. Joe does the Star Slash to try and get Argus to remember, but it doesn't work. Argus leaves with his sword, and Joe just collapses on the ground crying. And then Manticore is invading... So, Marvelous becomes Overdrive Red and Ninja Storm Red, and then Lindsay becomes In Space Yellow and Dino Thunder Yellow, Donnie Zeo Green, and Bailey Time Force Pink. And we cut back to Joe, and after feeling his legendary morpher, and then Joe has a flashback about when Marvelous saved him and Lindsay from a group of Exborgs and Bruisers. Which is how all three of them met. And then he shows up with the rest of the pirates. And then there's some mirroring of Marvelous and Joe fighting Exborgs now as the pirate rangers with how they were when they first met. Then everyone becomes samurai. And they take out Manticore with the Wild Force Zord. And Vakar's like, Why am I the only member of my family who's good at fighting the rangers? Ow, my wound still hurts. 